Welcome to Connie's Truffle House. Oh, friends, do we have a treat for you today. Look who I've got in the Truffle House with me today. Caroline Mebbin, her mom Kelly Mebbin, dear sweet friends of the Nelson family, a blessing to everyone who knows them. And do we have a treat for you. We are going to put together a trifle. And today's trifle is Connie's gluten-free brownie layer trifle. There are a number of steps. So we prepped some ahead of time. We made the brownies ahead of time, fudge sauce, but now we're going to show you a couple of the steps that are involved in the layering. Kelly is going to show you how to make the cream cheese filling, and Caroline is going to whip the cream. So Kelly, it's all yours. Right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be adding some mascarpone, and you can also use cream cheese as a substitute if you don't want it to be so rich. So I'm going to start with the mascarpone and then I'm going to add a little bit of sugar and Yum. some cream. Great. That sounds good. Good. I'll just so I'm adding the paddle and I'm learning how to use this machine. So this is fun for me because I've never used this You're before. You're doing great. Awesome job. Ooh. Okay. Lock and wow. There we go. I just love that. It just works for you. Yeah. You don't even have to hold it. So we can I'm probably add the cream and the sugar. Perfect. This is great. I know, I love this. This is so delicious. Mm. Y'all have got to try this trifle. This is the best. And now, while Kelly is working on this, Caroline is going to whip the cream that will end up garnishing the trifle. So, Caroline, do you want to show everybody what you're going to do? Um, I'm going to pour in the... I'm going to use the bread. Heavy whipping cream. Yeah. Perfect job. Great. And then just to make it a bit sweeter, I'm going to add some vanilla mm -hmm. and powdered sugar. Yes! Good job! Now, if you like your whipping cream not sweetened, you don't have to do this. I kind of like the heavy organic cream just sweetened a bit, and that's all you do. So Caroline's going to start cooking. Kelly's going to keep this going. we got some noise pollution, so now we're just going to have a little bit of fun. We are ready to assemble our decadent brownie layer trifle. And this is where it's so much fun. You can use your imagination. There's no set recipe how to assemble, but we'll give you one version, okay? You know me, I love my surgeon gloves. We're just going to put the brownies in the bottom. We're just gonna line them up. We're just gonna fill up the bottom with the brownies. These are my gluten-free brownies. I made a different kind. I made the standby that you have the recipe on the blog, and then I made Connie's gluten-free brownies and I added a cream cheese swirl. Yum. Very, very moist. So, here is the trifle dish, and look, see how beautiful? I get close and see. Now, we can drizzle the fudge sauce. Check it out. Okay. We're just gonna drizzle like this. There we go. And now, this is when you just have fun. <laughs> this is dark chocolate chop. Toasted pecans chopped, white chocolate chopped. This is where the surgery gloves come in handy, right? So y'all just help yourself. Doctor it up any way you like. I'm just gonna sprinkle white, dark. You can put raspberries in here, y'all. Raspberries and chocolate, they go together like peas and carrots. So just add some raspberries. Now, that cream cheese mixture that Kelly made, we folded in the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Now we just take a spoonful. I'm gonna reach over, grab a spoonful and just dollop it in and spread it around on top. And, oh, sorry, Caroline, I got pushy. Okay, y'all just take a spoonful of the cream cheese, just like that. Alrighty, now we're ready to do some more brownies. So we'll put some more brownies on top, and then we will add some more fudge sauce, like this, and you just keep layering. You just keep layering. And then remember the whipped cream that Caroline made? Mm -hmm. That is going to top it off. 
So why don't you all, you're ahead of me, why don't you spread a layer of whipped cream on the top and then we're going to garnish it with shaved chocolates. What is going to make this so pretty is just shaving. You can just shave, you can choose any kind of chocolate you want. Milk chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate, bittersweet, anything you like. Now when you shave, this is 72%, this is actually dark chocolate with sea salt. Because you get that little bit of sea salt in there, you just shave like that. Kelly, you want to do that over there on your side? Just take wow, that. that. If you all have a microplane, you know a microplane is just like my favorite tool in the kitchen. Kelly's just going to shave it around. Friends, this is a little taste of heaven right here in Austin, Texas. You're going to love this dessert. What do you think? Is this going to be dessert when you get home tonight and see your dad and brother? Maybe this will be just what the doctor ordered, right? Our joy tanks are overflowing. It gives all of us, Kristen's behind the camera, so much joy to do this. We hope that you found some joy in this recipe today here with Kelly and Caroline Nevin. I can't thank you all enough for being here. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. What do you think? This is the best part. Mm, when I'm done with the video, so this is good. the first thing. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, mm. amazing. Connie, how's what do you think, Gluten-free. Isn't it amazing?